public companies are becoming private. Private companies are staying private longer, and investors are increasing their allocation to private markets. Now, why is this happening? Well, first, let's go over the facts. In 2017, there are half the number of public companies listed on the U.S. exchanges in comparison to 1997. Half. So let's explain why. The first is quarterly reporting, and the second is volatility. So let's start with quarterly reporting. Companies have to report their results every quarter when they're public, and usually after they report the results, they get on a conference call with Wall Street analysts, or in Canada, Bay Street analysts. These analysts ask really tough questions. Now, tough questions are okay, but tough questions that focus on short-term results? Well, probably not so okay. Now, here's why. I grew up reading Warren Buffett, Benjamin Graham, and Peter Lynch with the idea that we invest in public companies or invest in companies in general looking at the long term. How are managers supposed to focus on the long term when every three months they have to report their results and get grilled on whether they met them within the three months or didn't meet them within the three months? Next, we have volatility. The slightest news item, even a tweet, can cause a stock to go up a lot or down a lot. I remember one of Donald Trump's tweets. It was about Lockheed Martin. It was Monday, December 12th at 8.26 a.m. Donald tweeted, The F-35 programming cost is out of control. Billions of dollars can and will be saved on military and other purchases after January 20th. Before Donald Trump made this tweet, Lockheed Martin closed Friday, December 9th, 2016, at $259.53. The day of the tweet, when the market opened, Lockheed Martin started trading and hit a low of $245.50. In one trading day, the stock lost 5% of its value. Now, was that indicative of the long-term value of Lockheed Martin? Well, hindsight's 2020. Three years later, the Lockheed Martin stock is trading over $380 per share. And so, quarterly reporting and volatility are two reasons why investors are moving from the public markets to the private markets. It's all type of investors. Endowments, for example. Let's look at the Yale Investment Office run by legendary investor David Swenson. Their allocation is over 30% to private equity venture capital, and it has a target allocation of 38% to private equity venture capital in 2020. Next, let's look at pensions, such as the CPPIB. CPPIB has one of the largest private equity programs on the planet. They invest in private equity funds through co-investing, and they invest directly. CPPIB currently has a 23.7% allocation to private equity. And it's not just the large investors. Small investors are starting to get into private equity and into the private markets. Wealth managers, more and more, are pooling their investor capital to get access to various private equity funds and other investments in the private markets. One example is Nicola Wealth here in Canada. They're one of the fastest growing wealth management companies in the country. And they currently have a 40% allocation to private equity, private debt, infrastructure, and real estate mortgages. And they're looking in the next five years to increase that allocation to 50%. And so, why are public companies becoming private? Why are private companies staying private longer? And why are investors increasing their allocations to the private markets? Well, among other reasons, there's quarterly reporting, and the volatility in the public markets. Can you think of other reasons? Please share in the comments below.